Hello and welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker. So we have one quest left to do. We have to go to Tekos and we need to speak to Kimo, an elf who we know has been um, uh, been very close to some fae and caused some jealousy and some problems. And he came and shyly asked us about it. So we need to go see what's going on and basically, you know, get him to stop causing trouble. Right. Hello, Kimo. Kimo smiles at you absentmindedly. Good day! Um, what did you want to ask me? You won't believe this, it's about her. She's finally agreed to go out on a date with me. I need to get ready. A hunter I know said that you only need one thing to woo a lady. A gift. Maybe, maybe an emerald necklace would do? I don't even know where to start looking for such a thing. Please, please help me. I will repay you. I promise. Uh, tell me exactly what you need. Well, I don't really know, but surely something that can't be found in every shop or roadside tavern. You seem to put a lot of trust in this hunter's opinion. He talks a lot, and the other villagers listen to him. Kimmel bends over and whispers in a conspiratorial tone. To be completely honest, I think that he's, uh, you know, a bit slow. The elf gives you a meaningful glance, his eyebrows raised high. But he has a lot of experience. He knows a lot of things that I have no idea about. Alright, so be it. I knew it! Kimmo is as happy as a cat that's found a pot of cream. You're always so kind, and I will help you in return, you'll see. I'll come up with something so special. I must go. We need to find him an emerald necklace. Okay. Well, I don't think there's a trader here. So there's idea number one. But, you know where I think we might be able to find an emerald necklace? In the giant pile of junk that we have sold to, in the entirety of the game, we must have had an emerald necklace. Which means that Hasuf, somewhere in his store, will have an emerald necklace. Assuming that it's not a ran- like, assuming it's not a thing we have to actually go to. And he didn't get- he said he has no clue where to start looking. So I assume this is one that you kind of pick up and you're meant to be like, Oh, I found an emerald necklace now. That kind of thing. Like, I should go back to Kimmel. But I think emerald necklaces were uh, junk. So, we might be able to just find one with Hasuf. Right. Over here. You know what? You know what? I am going to cast a haste. We look very cool. Nah, definitely. Yeah. Right. Hello, Hasuf. See what you have. I'm looking for name in alphabetical order. Uh, ooh, I think I saw one. Emerald necklace. I'll like one, please. Thank you. I'll go ahead. I think he could have done me a deal given all the uh, stock I brought him, but whatever. Right, back out again. Same crew. Let's go. And back to Kimo. Teleporters make this whole thing a lot quicker. Really? Yeah. I wonder whether they balanced it with teleporters in mind? So what I'm meaning by that is I wonder... Why are you over encumbered again? What has happened to you? He just... He's, oh, it's because he takes his random two ability damage every now and then. Right. Maybe I just need to take stuff off him. What's he currently... Oh, the mace he kind of needs. The crossbow. No, he probably doesn't need the crossbow permanently. Yeah, we'll move him down here. That's fine. What else doesn't he need? Probably doesn't need all the bombs, because we can equip them as and when we need them. I just want to make it so if he does lose strength, he's not completely, you know, down there. Also, his strength is so low, he might just get blasted by something. Like, if, if uh, something comes over and hits him with that, like, uh, with a negative strength, he'll just die. I think that's what negative strength does. Unless negative strength's the one that just makes you fall over. I think there's one of them that does that, where you, you just... You just have nothing, so you just go prone. I think that was strength. Unless they all kill you in this game. I don't know. The path is anyway. Clear. Right, hey Kimmo, I got you a an emerald necklace. Just as you always wanted. 
Uh, right. Got you this necklace. Kimmel looks dumbfounded. How pretty! A happy, dreamy smile blooms on the elf's face. The next moment, however, his eyes widen and a huge beads of sweat cover his forehead. Then, then I should go! Kimmel gulps and gives you a weary, sidewards look. Thanks, Sorosero, you've done me a great service. I already know how I shall repay you. I'll make you a bow. The best bow in the world. Now I must go. Kimmel exhales decisively and slowly walks away. Alright, sure. I'll await news from Kimmel. That's fine. Wait. That says talk to Kimmel. Wait, have we not already talked to Kimmel? Maybe we have to talk to Kimmel about two things? Why did you want the flower so bad? Oh, I don't want to tell, but since you asked me, it'd be awkward if I refused. And? What? Are you going to tell me or what? Well, I say nothing. Kimmel awkwardly picks at the ground with the toe cap of his boot. Kimmel? All right, all right. The elf takes a deep breath. I am in love with the Lady of the Forest. Well, I'm happy for you. Thank you. If only I could be happy as well. The flower was for her. I cannot tell you who she is, but she has hidden herself from me, and that is what darkens my days. Where'd you hail from, Kimmel? Cool. I don't really need to know, because we've already done that. Right. Uh, so, there's no reason to speak to Kimmel. Right, so back to the capital. Right. I keep thinking that we're in the middle of the pack, like, uh, because I keep seeing the crown. I forget, I forgot I gave the crown to Juba Lost. You know, it's like, you can hold on to the crown for today. Right. Teleport back to Pharos. So, looking at what we need to do. Pharos of the Heart, wait. 65 days, nothing, 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 nothing. Right. Uh, so, I'm gonna head in here. I'm going to go to the throne room, because that way we can uh, basically go through things there a little bit easier. And also we get all the random events that come up with us each time we get like the craftsmen coming and things. All right. Oh, haste is still on. That's how li little time we spent doing that quest. Our haste is still applied. Oh, I didn't really need to come in here straight away, but that's fine. Quick save. So it is the 19th. Uh, this one needs Keston, Jathal, and Jubilost. Jubilost is free on the 23rd. Um, also, I want to have a look at our map and see when some of our buildings are finishing. Uh, I think that one already had buildings. Let's choose one that I know I was building new things in. Barbaros. Yes, yeah, so they're finishing soon. So I should be getting some more um, a build. I should get some more rank up things soon. Right, so. Skip day. Triumph on the Revolution. The regent pacified the crowd, promising that all their problems would be resolved, and sat down with the negotiating table with leaders of the Simmering Revolution. Other citizens decided to support the representatives by setting out tables of food and wine, and a serious event turned into a feast. Nice. Okay, so that's Octavia free. Octavia was not one of the ones who could do that, and she also has no quests available. I could just, like, get some of these quests done anyway. Like, just get Octavia to do some, if I have any. Just in case, you know, like 20 days to solve. But I, I just don't really care about Bartholomew. Like, because all of these are like strength in Bartholomew or strength in the storyteller doing a different job. Or strength in Yod. Like, I'm not using Yod again. I have Tisana. Right, um. Well, I guess I skip a day then, right? Treasurer requests your attention. So, triumph there. The treasurer managed to invite several guests from neighboring uh, countries. Many well-known wizards and magic researchers visited the Kingdom of Studies' unique phenomenon. Fantastic. But also that means our economy has gone high enough that the treasurer now wants to speak to us again. So, we can do the treasurer one. See what he has to say. Hello, Major. Your Highness, a couple of Daggermark swindlers were arrested in the city market. They were paying with coins from their own country. There was significantly less gold in the coins than there was supposed to be. The coins turned out to be cut by nearly a quarter. Makes me wonder why we haven't produced our own coins, one with your face on it, for instance. The only way we can be assured that money of our subjects is intact. I will also send a message to our neighbours that we're someone to be reckoned with. I'll be some expense to set this up, but it'll pay off eventually. Sure, do it. 
It will be done. This day marks a new milestone in the history of the kingdom. See ya. Hey, Mim. What you got for me? Uh, fortunate fencer. Cool. See ya. Anyone else? Nope. Fortunate fencer is a dueling sword. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if it, it's not. Okay, that's fine. I just thought I'd check. I think it's a ring then. Two bonus to rolls with a melee rolls with. Um, hmm. Okay, interesting. I don't, she already has a melee one. Okay, anyone else need a melee roll? Probably not. Kaliki, I guess. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Nice upgrade for Kaliki. You know, for for that very important Kaliki one we're gonna do. Right, um quick save. We have a look at projects. So we got support the treasurer and minting coins. So minting coins is one that he can do for 45. One BP per day for each a thousand BP in the treasury, up to five BP per day. So if we have a stockpile of BP, we get more BP. Huh. Okay. Or, we can support the treasurer's endeavors. I'm going to support the treasurer's endeavors first, and the reason I'm going to support the treasurer's endeavors first is because it takes seven days instead of, um, 45. Yeah, also what day is it? It's the 21st, okay. So if I just head over to the Excel, so it's the 21st, so that means we've got 60 days until, um, the big bad happens. Uh, or I can send Mager to do that. No, I want to. I want to upgrade our stuff. Let's upgrade our stuff. Although Mager was also needed for this dead man's chest, wasn't he? No. Okay, that's fine. Seven days. Support the treasurer's endeavors. Go. Oh, strengthen Bartholomew. What an amazing event. We have uh, ten events, by the way. Failure minus one. Projects. Failure. Price of a soul is minus community instability. Joys of life was a triumph. Three cu culture. Uh, the sentinel. Our mages thought the clockwork sentinel's behavior might embarrass or even scare people. They asked Absalon's magicians to assist in improving it, and the clockwork sentinel was redesigned, made more human, or has already returned, and continues to tirelessly protect order. So we got community arcane and stability there. Nice. Strengthen Bartholomew. And strengthen Mager skills as an advisor. Ooh, I want to do that one. Right, events. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Somebody want to speak to me? <laughs> so that's what happens when you upgrade your stats, huh? Everybody wants to speak to you immediately. I think to... Oh, no, this is actually... Yes, it's to Sanas first. Soroseros, the murderer's... The murders committed by Erastal's renegades have led to the pe the peasants to see threats, uh, see as threats anyone who holds strange beliefs. A conflict has erupted around a small coven of silent, silent theories. These people are savages, but nonetheless helpless. Their core belief is that their speech is a dangerous invention, leading to madness. They fear the spoken word, but they never do harm to anyone. However, the Peasants suspect them of all manner of nasty things and wish to be rid of them. We could rein them in, whip a few, send them back to work the earth, but this would, this in the end would lead to massacre. We could expel the coven, but this would send a message that anyone unwanted by the crowd would be subject to the same treatment. There is an easy way out. Give them to me. My pack will take their leaders from them, rip out their tongues of the others, and since they're so fond of silence, convert them to Lamash too. I shall ensure that they don't bother anyone ever again. Um. No. I. Th um. No. Okay. The villagers had better settle down. That coven harm no one. The followers of this strange religion have nothing to fear from me. Desana curls her lip. As you wish. We'll see what happens to the coven when you withdraw your guards. I should have claimed them. My pack could have protected those animals. Tasana, you're a lot more evil than I initially realized for an evil priest. <laughs> Hello, Jubilos. See you're still wearing my crown. 
Look, Soros Eros, we've suddenly stumbled into the middle of a fight between Litran and Gralton. Oh, not again. I don't know who might benefit from this, but surely not us. It's time to figure out a way to extradite, extradite ourselves from this situation. I suggest that we negotiate a peace treaty. However, if you're too proud for such a measure, I'll tell you a couple of other options. The Grey Gardeners have a more attractive enemy than us. They're and they're nearer at hand as well. Of course, I'm speaking of the Revolutionary Council of Galt, headed by Goths. After all, the Gardener's favourite pastime is to behead members of the Council for benefit to the revo of the Revolution, so Goths prefers to keep a low profile. He fears that his governor government could be deca decapitated in every meaning of the word, but if we give him something to sink his teeth into, he might decide to go after the Gardeners as well, after all. However, I would avoid this course. If, Gal if Goths prevails, he could become even worse than the Gardeners. Another way to distract Litran's attention is the Order of Vengeance, a secret society in Gralton. They are avengers who seek to repay injuries suffered during the revolution. If we aid them in forming an alliance with Gralton, the Order could engage in guerrilla warfare beyond the borderlands. It's a shame that this mess will be taking place just next door. A organized peace negotiations, peace negotiations with Litran. That is, most wise. I will send an ambassador to Litran. I hope they won't decapitate him. No, no, they mustn't. Alright. Next. That's Jethal, huh? I bring amusing news of Lazaro Messus, the young composer from Absalon that I've been watching over. He met me yesterday, and by turns he informed me that he's up to his neck in debt. His friends led a most lavish lifestyle, and at first he was simply too sapless to let himself fall back, and now he simply cannot imagine living any differently. Of course, it was none other than I who introduced him to these rakes. This gives us the perfect opportunity to gain a decisive influence over him. Should we help Lazario, and once he's taken the bait, explain to him that Ono demands he listen to his patron's opinion, and make certain refinements to the opera, the grateful, naive child will be unable to refuse. Um. Very well, Jethal. The treasurer shall provide you with whatever you require. Lazario shall have everything his heart desires. And only later will he have to pay for it. Tell me, Soroceros. What should I turn our young friend's attention to? What should he always keep in mind while he is writing? Um, I think his opera should show that each of us is the architect of our own fate. Hard work and perseverance leads to success and prosperity. Let's see how that goes. Hello, Keston. Keston's ever grim visage is painted with concern. Ill news, your highness. The guard refuses to go out on patrols. The officers have declared that the people will not take up weapons until conditions of their service are improved. Truth be told, it is rare for a kingdom to see guard take part in so many battles, wars, raids, and monster hunts. Your highness may instead pay for services of mercenaries, but I think that our boys deserve some time off. They risk their lives every day, and they need to spend more time with their families while they still can. Yeah, give them a raise. Definitely. As you command, your highness, I shall pass along your orders. Like BP to per turn? Who cares? We get so much BP per turn, it doesn't really matter. We lose it. Hello, Octavia. Soroceros, your kingdom is growing and its problems grow along with it. They must all be addressed and this leaves no time for trivial things. Queens normally appoint others to deal with the little things. Sometimes it's the mayors and the local leaders, that's how the aristocracy is formed. A circle of power holders, but no matter what you call it, we can't do it. We can't do without such a group of trustees. Many knights and adventurers seek to become your vassals and fill the vacancy left by local bandits you've exterminated. But what if they want more than you're willing to give? This will only puff them up. They might even start bossing people around and hurting them. Who lives in the villages and towns? The people, regular citizens. Let them govern their own lives. Our cities and towns have elected their mayors, the villages have chosen their chiefs. They are pillars we rely on, not a bunch of self-absorbed sloths. Um, yeah, sure. I agree with you, Octavia. Uh, the Stolen Lands have managed without aristocrats before. They can live without them now and in the future. Let the people decide who they want as governors. Perfect. I will announce to the people that there will be no strange barons. 
From now on, they are self-governing the kingdom. This will make them so happy. Right. See you later. Who's next? Hello, Tristian. Sorosaros. The city council discussed the expansion of one of the districts today. The square in its centre will be named in your honour by unanimous content, a consent. You deserve the love of your subjects. Not every ruler has a chance to enjoy it. But now for some less uplifting news. The guards have exposed a conspiracy of merchants. All the plotters have been arrested, but you must decide their fate. The people are concerned that the rich merchants will simply get away with it. I believe your justice will be served rightfully and mercifully. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, we're not going to kill them. We're not going to let them go. I guess we gain the gold and the BP and we free them from their chains, also free them from their wealth, their estates, their luxurious clothing and any other possessions I'll seize for the good of the state and its people. I think that's what we go for. Yeah. We don't kill them, we just strip them back down. I hear it's only when a man has nothing that he truly recognizes true virtue. Perhaps they'll become something better and they'll become better and purer souls without their riches. Maybe. Bit naive. Anyway, another visitor awaits an audience with you. He's the leader of the Druids of Seros. Oh, okay. Bring him in. We have Druids? A sturdy old man with a shaggy beard begins to clear his throat. His penetrating eyes scan you, his face benign and respectful. Long live, your highness. I'm here to speak on behalf of your vassals, those who survive by farming the lands which my brothers and sisters have sworn to protect. We were, only, we were the only defenders before you came. We didn't think of you as a friend at first, I admit, but we were wrong. We've seen many things, but a ruler can stand up for the ordinary people against the rich. That's something new. The petty merchants that rob the people are like bandits now. They sing in a different tune and engage in honest trade. For this I thank you on behalf of the Druid Circle. Tell us what your people can do for you and your words will be ours. The people heed the Druids. Hmm, okay. Um, we could say the merchants became wealthy and get them to study and learn. Want people to become the kingdom's ears. Or tell everyone I'm a just ruler. No, I want them to learn. I want them to learn and study history, geography. I want them to be well educated. We'll do it, Sorosaros. It will take time, of course, but eventually we'll be better for it. Ooh, 15 culture. Your people truly love you. However mighty or powerful a ruler may be, the druids never bear gifts to tyrants or villains. Hmm, interesting. I like that one. All right, Magyar. Your Highness, I've come to express my boundless respect. I had no idea I'd be part of something this grand. You are able to build a prosperous and wealthy state, where there was once just a broken, cursed, and godforsaken backwards. You managed to reform a hostile country government, once full of corruption and bribery. Your efforts have brought in too much money. It's strange, I never expected I'd say these words. Anyway, you must decide where you want to invest it. I suggest you... Invite an experienced well, uh, weather mage from Absalon to drive droughts and floods away from our lands. Another option is to send a talented youth abroad for study. Or, for that matter, we could open a couple of trade offices in neighbouring countries and use them as cover for our agents. Oh, weather mage, sure. Very well. It is wise for you. It is wise to protect your fields from an early autumn or torrid summer. When I was barren, I also tended first to my subjects' bellies. We got arcane and loyalty. Nice. So we got a ton of things there. Like a ton. So divine is done. Espionage is done. Culture is done. Stability is done. Community is done. Loyalty is done. Economy is done. So we have colony. So we can have a Miri or Keston do that one. We have the truth of the blade, which is only Jubilost. Okay, and we have dead man's chest, which is... A couple of potential. I think Jathal is the best there. So if I go for that and then just send them off. Right. Let's have a look here. I'm going to fill in the spreadsheet now. So 28 is... Um, we have 13 for Jubilost. 13 for Jathal. 
and 28 for Miri. So 13 for Jubilost, 13 for Jethal, and 28 for Miri. Fantastic, right. So, um, back in here, we have nine new projects. So we have support everyone's endeavors. Okay, well, at least we have endeavors to support. I'm just going to get rid of all the new markers because I hate having them there. Right. Then I can read through them slowly. So we have the Community of Loyalists. Uh, plus two to resolving situations as the region. That's a 14-day solve. That sounds like a good one to send off. That sounds like it's just good. I don't see any negatives. So that's 14 days for Octavia. 14 days for Octavia. I'm being very careful not to get rid of everybody I need. Because if I get rid of everybody, then I don't have anything to, uh... What well, to do. Okay, loyalty of the masses. Plus one when the regent has a success or a triumph. Uh, well, both of them are busy, so unfortunately can't do that one. Nothing, 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 nothing. Alright, so we're done there. Major skills as advisor. So I can send Major to do that. 20 days. Yes, that's 20 days for Major. We'll send him on a 20. That means we have um, the Storyteller and Keston. Now, I believe that I don't have Upgrade the Storyteller, because that's um, our Magister. I think it's probably because our Arcane isn't high enough. So, I guess that means I can actually do an upgrade to our Warden if we have it. We do. Support the Warden's endeavors. Perfect. Seven days. Let's go. Right. Perfect. So, it's now rank eight. Ruler's competition is finished. So, that's seven loyalty, four economy, and four relations. The cheerful ambassadors have returned to the palace with the glorious news. Victory! The kingdom has been blessed by the gods and fame has spread across the river kingdoms. Keston's training is complete, so he's better now as well. Right, events. The, uh, ambass the missing ambassador. Grand diplomat wishes to discuss things and the magister wishes an audience. Well, let's have a chat, shall we? See what else we need to talk about. Storyteller. There is a matter that demands your personal attention, your highness. The people of the capital have lodged a complaint against the inhabitants of the Major's Quarter. Not only do unnatural sounds and strange lights disturb the peace, especially within the Quarter itself, but also the ongoing experiments have simply become too dangerous. A young alchemist's experiments have led to an explosion so powerful that his neighbors up and down the street felt their window panes tremble. Later that day, an unidentified purple substance fell from the sky all over the city. A people complained that it made the capital reek of wet goblin hide. The storyteller raises a concerned eyebrow. I have no doubt that some of these reports might be exaggerated. However, I also have no doubt that on the whole, the concerns of our citizens are well founded. Magical experiments have no place in a densely populated city. Thus, I suggest performing magical experiments inside the city walls should be outlawed. Uh, yes. Uh, don't do magic inside city walls. I shall speak with the inhabitants of the Major's Quarters. Okay. That one's done. Hello, Lindsay. I'd like to congratulate you, Soroseros. For the first time, the Stolen Lands have emerged onto the international scene as a strong country worthy of respect. It has far exceeded their history as a wild wasteland. I can hardly believe our diplomacy has achieved such positive effects. I'm thinking of establishing a string of grand embassies all across Avastin. So you've managed to build a truly open country. Many foreigners reside within your domain, while your own subjects have no fear of travelling abroad. We are beset by those striving to become citizens, and many are willing to serve in our military to earn the privilege. Others seek to hide from persecution, slavery, or disdain that they face at home. We can officially invite them to come here and live under your protection, but... Here's a better idea I've been polishing. Why don't we establish publishing houses abroad? They could print regular reports for your, your subjects so they can keep up with domestic affairs. Um... Right, so we can either have publishing houses abroad, let the general establish a regiment for foreigners who will serve in the military exchange for citizenship, or a domain will accept oppressed fugitives from foreign lands. I want to accept oppressed fugitives, I think. Sorry, Lindsay. That's a very merciful decision. 
Let every poor fellow and unfortunate slave find refuge in this land of hope and unity we've established here. So community, loyalty, and relations. Nice. I think that's the right option for us here. Ooh, you got leather for me? Yep. Uh, Royal Gloves of Valor. Thank you. Appreciate it. See you later. Uh, forget. Cloth? Cloth. Yeah. Noxious Veil. Thank you. See ya. Right. So, we got Gloves of Valor. Plus six bonus to Charisma and can grant, grant uh, greater heroism three times a day. Does she already have bonuses to Charisma? Seeing where she got it. She does not have bonuses to Charisma. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait, she has gloves though. She has thievery gloves. Not thievery. She has lore nature, lore religion, and lore arcana. Does she actually even have those? She does have those lores. Hmm. I wanted to give her those though. These nice new gloves. What does Charisma work on? Bards, Paladins, and Sorcerers. As channel energy DC for clerics and paladins attempted to harm undead foes. I mean... Mm, nope. None of those are useful for us then. Uh, I guess if anybody just happens to not have gloves. Have some charisma. I guess. I'm not very sure about that. Anyway. Uh, oh, and the other one we got. The Noxious Veil. Uh, acid Resistance and the Gas Acid Fog. Everyone has a hat, right? Yeah. That's just a cell. Cool. Quick save. And in here. Right. So. Let's see what we got now. I've managed to open a huge explosion in terms of things to do in here. Probably because of all the buildings we did. Right, so we can support the Grand Diplomat. We can do Arcane Protection from Compulsions, which seems like a good one. It provides immunity to compulsion spells while fighting within claimed regions. Nice, that's tw a 20 day thing. Okay, and what day are we on? We're on the 4th of the 6th. Okay, so 4th of the 6th. 20 day thing for the storyteller. Find the people we have free then are Lindsay, Keston, and Tristian. Okay. Um, just want to check if there's anything else. Oh, Tristian's free, so I can do Loyalty of the Masses. 14 days to solve. Right. Um, 14 days to solve. Uh, I didn't get any new events, did I? I actually forgot to check. Missing Ambassador. Oh no, only Octavia and Jubilost can do it though, and they're about to be finished. Um, Lindsay is free and Keston is free. So obviously I have support the Grand Diplomat. Oh, what's, what's that one about minting coin? Ah yes, only Mager can do it. Yes, of course. Uh, and fortifying the foundations. That's Keston. I was also thinking for regions. I might just build the training grounds. I think I might do that now. Just because I don't think we're going to get anything else. And this region's scores increase um, with military upgrades. For each other region with military upgrades. I don't think we have any other regions with military upgrades. But anyway. I'm going to do it anyway just so we have something done. Right. Seven days. Let's do it. Oh. Was that the last region upgrade? Upgrade three. Re oh, let's upgrade three regions. Oh, Okay. So, yeah, that's us upgraded all the regions we could upgrade. Also, I've broken it. I forgot that I did this. We've got loyalty and culture for Dead Man's Chest. Success. Two new events. Uh, I'm just going to head out here so that we can go back to the throne room. We should have... No, nobody wants to speak to us. Oh, all right then. Feel a little bit left out now. Feel a little bit alone. Right, the morning after. Uh, neither of those we need to do or can do. Assassin from Dagmar is taking a contract on the Queen's head. An open challenge to a duel is not a likely result. An arrow to the back of neck or a goblin full of poison. I'm going to send Keston to do it. 20 days to solve. Starting on the 11th. Okay. That's 20 days to solve. Starting on the 11th for Keston. That's fine. Right. So then we have... 
The missing ambassador, which one of these two can do. And the morning after, which we can't do yet. So missing ambassador, what's it? A DC 27, I'm sending Octavia to do that. That's a 13 day Octavia uh, thing there. All right. That means we have Lindsay, Jathal, and Jubilost free. Lindsay, Jathal, and Jubilost. All of which can be upgraded. Lindsay would put us up to a 10 in relations. Same as military. I'm going to do that, yeah. Let's just do that one. Right, go. And that should get us something big, I hope. So we're now rank 10. Maker's training is complete. And the project is complete. Nice. Events. Visitor from another world. And the poltergeist in a temple. So actually we got nothing for Lindsay. So visitor from another world. That's um, Jathal. How long is that? 24 days for Jathal. Starting on the 18th. Okay. 24 days, Jathal, 18th. 18. If I can do this correctly. 24 days. Right. Back in here. And we have the poltergeist at the temple. That's Tisana. And the morning after is Tisana and Storyteller. So they're both basically needed. Um, Tisana's going to be done soon. She's done in three days' time. Okay. Uh, so, I think we got more projects to do. So, who's free? Uh, oh, Maker's free, so I should do the Mint Your Coins thing. Uh, Minting Coins, right? Yeah. Perfect, that's 45 days for Maker. Starting on the 18th. Uh, so, Maker... Starting on the 18th, 40... Oh, that's, that's one. 45 days, right? That means we have Lindsay, Tristian, and Jubilost free. I cannot... Oh, wait. I can upgrade Tristian to a level 10. No, to a level 9. Ooh, okay. Uh, I think we upgrade him to a level 9. Or we do the... Wait, can we do Minister? We can do Minister. So we could push him up to a level 6. But I think we're going to upgrade Tristian again. Cool. Quick save. That also puts him up to a plus 28, which is a very nice modifier, really, all things considered. We're also getting very close to the point where I think that we're going to have to deal with Bald Hilltop. But we'll see. Right. So that's now rank 10. Lovely. Colony is done. The advisor showed uh, foresight in their decision to send guards to accompany the colonists under the soldiers' protection. The, uh, the settlers hardly built an encampment which attracts more, uh, handily built in the captain, which attracts more and more newcomers from nearby villages. So we got community, military, economy, and stability. Missing ambassador. Um, they managed to arrest the murderers and identify their employer. So we got community and loyalty. Success. Research into the nature of curses. Tristian. Although there's no evidence that uh, Nyrissa um, actually cursed Tristian, it seems that the nymph had some special power over creatures that lost something vital to them. This could be a clue to the nature of Nyrissa's own curse. Research has increased our understanding of arcane and divine magic. So we get plus seven there. Nice. Projects complete. The arcane protection. We got even more pluses. Events. The ancient curse is upon us. Expected to occur in two weeks. Yes, I agree. Man's best friends. Can't do that one yet. Mineral spring. That's a Tristian thing. Poltergeist in the Temple. That's a Tisana thing. So 13 days for Tisana, starting on the 25th. I don't know if it's actually, like, if we need to worry about any of these, but it's 13 days for Tisana, starting on the 25th. Bald Hilltop, by the way, should be as easy as it could get at this point, because we have so many buffs from being in our own kingdom. Morning after is 13 days for the Storyteller. So 13 days. That's fine. Back here. So, we have Man's Best Friends, which we can't do. We have Mineral Spring, which we're going to send off 13 days for Tristian. That's fine. Tristian is 13 days away. Right. Okay. Um, then we have Amiri, Octavia, Storyteller, and Jubilost. That one we can't do. So, I think I'm going to upgrade... Jubilost now. Although, Storyteller being 
Storyteller is free. It's not free, no. Okay. Um, sorry, we have Octavia. Oh, that put region up to 10, wouldn't it? That put our, no, it puts our community up to 9, and 9's usually a good one. Let's do that one. Right. We're told we had two weeks to Bald Hilltop, so. The Ancient Curse is upon us. This is our final chance to prepare. Duality is down by five. Regent demands your presence. Okay. I think that probably means we have a week left to Bald Hilltop triggers. I could be wrong, though. It depends when we got the first one. I'd like to congratulate you, Saraceros. When you took the Stag Lord's throne, you had a choice whether to rely on the support of decent, honourable people or thieves, which were so powerful in these lands. You made the right choice. Together with the people, you managed to overthrow the bandits. Peasants who once cowered in fear now boldly report every crime. They trust the authorities. The stolen lands prosper under your reign as never before. A guild of river shipbuilders arrived today. There was very respect in these lands, and local trade is impossible without them. They would like to thank you for getting rid of the bandits who sank most of the crafts they built. They ask how they might repay you. How should we invest their energy? Uh, we could do merchants. We could let them remember the less fortunate neighbours. Let every man, poor man or vagabond find their place on a ship that sails towards opportunity. Or hold a celebration in my honour. No, I think number two. Let every poor man or vagabond find their place on the ship. That is so like you. Rather than caring about yourself and ordering a statue of gold, you think of the others. You're too kind. Let me pass along your message. Right. Well, that's good. Ooh, who are you? Varask the Wild Fist. Have we met Varask before? The half-orc bows diligently. Oh, wait, we have. Half-orc artisan who you met in the Camelons. He helped recover his tools when he, which he pawned to a merchant. Oh, right, yes, and we built his uh, workshop. I completely forgot that we built that. Anyway. Uh, your Highness, I come bearing gifts, a sign of my gratitude for taking an old man into your service. With such weapons, you can go on raids and protect your lands. Everything has been tempered in lamb blood, with proper prayers to all the proper gods. Everything is done with care for you personally. Anyway, it was amusing work, but I could give you... Something even more impressive, a weapon worthy of Gorham's Herald. But I need your help with something. Come by if you're interested. There's something else. I have all I need to start reforging Earthbreaker. You better not give me any big orders for a while so I can concentrate on the hammer. Make sure you don't forget my payment. Thank you. Keep at it, Varask. Gladly. When a weapon or armor is made for a good fight, the work does itself. And I know many great fights await you. Alright, see ya. Anyone else? Oh, hello. You have a weapon? Yep. Dragonfly ring. Cool. See ya. Next one? Nope. Okay. So we got the dragonfly ring. This is a plus eight enhancement to dexterity and ability to cast a cleanse spell three times a day. An eight to dexterity. Is that the highest we've ever seen to dexterity? So if I give him like that instead of this one, or this one. That does give him a dexterity up, doesn't it? Yeah, if I do it instead of that one instead. So 17 to 24, so 15 to 22, 17 to 24, okay. There's a straight upgrade in weapon damage and stuff. But that gives DR2. So I can actually do that one, yeah. So that's Knock Knock set up a little bit more. The other one was Bloodthirst, a two-handed club, which is Vampiric. Ooh. Well, I guess that is a thing that um, Chithal will use then, right? Yeah. Oh, it also does negative damage on hit, though. Hmm. That's a lot of damage. It, do it does have the ability to heal, though. I think. I think I prefer it over the Champion of Graves, but I'm not going to get rid of the Champion of Graves, if you know what I mean. It looks awesome. But I don't know if we're getting rid of the Champion of Graves. Right. Uh, that's fine. So. Said it was our final chance to prepare for Bald Hilltop. So I'm going to do a quick save. I'm going to walk down here. And we're going to skip forward. I, I think. Yeah, I think we're. Well, we have a new project to support the region's endeavors as well. We have any of these that we can do? 
Or to find the foundation. Wait, what's Kest what was Keston on before? Is he on an event I never gave him? Oh, man's best friend. Yeah, okay. Some dis dis uh, reputable vendors are offering a litter of puppies found in a troll cave. Yeah, okay. 13 days for Keston. Starting on the 2nd. Okay. Um, 13 days for Keston. Starting on the 2nd. That's fine. Right. So nobody has anything that they need to do. This is a quick save. And then we skip days. If it goes to 7, we reload the quick save. So. 1. 2. 3. 4. 5. 6. We finished Mineral Spring with a Triumph. Got success there. Morning after was a failure. Seven. Okay. It's exactly seven, which means I'm going to reload the quick save. The reason I'm doing that is because we can do another upgrade. I just wanted to see when that triggered, that that event triggered. So I was fairly certain it was seven, but I want to be sure. So now we can do one of these as well. So who's free? It's the second. So Octavia, Amiri, and Jubilost. So we can actually upgrade uh, Octavia to a ten. Yeah, let's do another ten. Perfect. So that now starts. So now we get loyalty, military stability. It was a triumph again. Poltergeist in the temple was a success again. So we get the vine and minus loyalty. And the morning after was a failure again. Okay. That's fine. Events. War of Shadows. A region is being foreign attacked apart by two criminal gangs. Okay, well. Send Jubilos to do it. It's 20 days um, starting on the 9th. That's 20 days starting on the 9th for Jubilos. Right? And then the other one that we need to do is the Battle for Bald Hilltop. We need to choose somebody to do this one. It's a 45. It means we need to roll a 27 with one of these. But if we do it, then we succeed anyway. As long as we actually do it. So how long is that? That's a one day. I'm not going to put down a one day. Okay. Right. We'll quick save, sell our stuff, grab our party, go and kill everyone at Bald Hilltop. That seems like a good idea. Right. We're taking Amiri instead of Jubilost. So we can heal. The fantastic new world of things that we can do. I'm trying to think what kind of enemies it's going to chuck at us here. Probably some Mandrogas, although we had those last time. I think. Oh, maybe some of those things that eat you, like the worms, the pur giant purple worms, that would be terrible. But usually they're things that you fought in the previous sections. What did we fight in Patax that were fey? Red caps? Did we fight red caps? We fought the tiger people. I'll go ahead. Like we fought a lot of them. We fought trolls, but we I mean fought trolls for ages. I don't think they're going to be trolls. I don't know. I am, I'm actually not 100% sure. Probably just giant tree ant versions of things that we fought. Right. Um. Mm, I actually only really need to sell the Noxious Veil. Vale. That's fine. But look how many buffs we have just for being in our own realm. We're immune to so much now. That, I think, will really help us. Like, these um, morale bonuses to hitting, the saving throws, the immunity to compulsions, which I think might actually turn out to be absolutely necessary and amazing. Oh, does Amiri have a new... I didn't notice it, but I think she has a tattoo on her face that she didn't always have. She must have got that at the end of her quest. Let, let me just see. I only saw it there at the last second. He does. That's very, very subtle. Like, right there. Huh. Okay. Alright then. Right. Um, Bald Hilltop. Let's go. Three hour journey. Um, Enter. Yeah. We can quick save once we enter. I was going to quick save before I entered, but we'll quick save once we enter. I mean, it just auto-saved, but you know. Whatever. I'm expecting this to be a nice, easy fight. Which of course means it's going to be extremely difficult. I'm going to go in blind. 
as we do on the previous times, and then we'll see where everything goes from that from there, basically. One big enemy. I'm after a dragon. Give us a dragon. The Tree Ant Dragon. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. Oh, they're just wild hunt scouts again? Tear them apart! Let us strike Wait, do one. you have the wrong weapon out? No, you have the right weapon. Serves you right. Uh, one of those and one of those. There's just these guys again? Okay. Uh, so fire is probably not the best plan against them. We might use a prayer. Jubilost? Um, probably acid instead. A clever ploy. And we are going to start uh, firebrand, probably. There we go. Go. Some well saves that we saved. Oh, Amiri's been stunned. Who's been stunned this time? We have again. Jubilost? No. Lindsay? No. Oh, so we're one higher than we were last time. I forgot that we had permanent paralysis. Yeah. It's a bit of a pain. Jubilost? Wanna just hit him? Oh, is um, she stunned? No, she's just standing still. Okay, that's fine. She just hadn't, had, she hadn't reached her turn yet. <laughs> okay, um... Anything else that we could do here? Probably just stick to healing for the first couple rounds. That seems good. Yeah, the poison's pretty much gonna murder these guys by itself. Yeah. Pretty much. Don't really stand much of a chance. Especially as, yeah, the damage resistance doesn't even apply as much to these anymore. Because it only applies at the end. Ooh, new one! V Vildervran. Okay. There's a couple of Vildervran. Hold your position. Hold. Um, just checking what weapon she's using right now. She she should be using her... Yeah, she's using Amiri's Triumph. That's fine. Oh, wait. Are we back? We're, we're, are we back? Uh, no, we're still paralyzed. Amiri is moving. No, she's still paralyzed. Never mind. Wait, is she paralyzed? Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, wait. We can remove paralysis, can't we? Can, is freedom of movement make you immune to paralysis? Yes. Yes, it does. Oh, use that. That's huge. Um, Jubilos chucking in. Go. Oh, wait. We, we're, we're shooting. Does that mean we can use magic? It does. Okay. I freed Amiri. Are we still paralyzed? Technically? Why don't we freedom of movement ourselves as well? I thought that we were stuck, but I guess we're not anymore, for whatever reason. Uh, I asked for a dragon, and that's the closest thing we can get, right? Uh, we've been confused by the Jabberwock. Okay. Never mind. What's it, was it attacking us? It just has a lot of health and fast healing. Okay. Um, yeah, chuck some of those in at it. Amiri does not care. Wait, I can't control Amiri in any way. Yeah, I can't control Amiri. She's just not paralyzed not anymore. Alter. How weird. Okay. Well, I can control us entirely, even though... What? Uh, is Amiri, like... Oh, she is confused. Oh, but she can... Still act normally, for whatever reason? Very weird situation. Uh, did our spell fizzle? Oh, we failed our will save against Burble. We were confused. I see. Juba lost past his, right? Yeah. Is it immune to acid? It is very immune to acid. Okay. Uh, what's his reflex like? Very low. Okay. Well, I hit it with this one then instead. Did we just shoot? We did just shoot Lindsay in the back of the head. <laughs> Hope she wasn't talking to us. Ooh, Lindsay's getting blasted. Okay. Um, wait. Will they ever learn? Just move forward a little bit. That you was the one I meant to move. Hand. Okay. Um, Lindsay's still going for it, huh? We got anything that we, we don't have control of our characters. Or... The Jabberwock is dead. 
How long is the burn on for? Can't even see a burn. Or is oh is that on the ground? Stop Come shooting in. us. No, stay. Um can what she not move? You? No, she's also confused for another five seconds. Oh, we're at I shall not fail. Good. And Lindsay was called forth. <laughs> that just feels like revenge at that point. Okay. No longer confused, Lindsay? Adventures call to them. Yeah, turn that off. Good. So we killed the thing? Ooh. We got a lot of keen uh, falchions. You deserved it. Right. Skin, collect. Share your troubles. Yeah, that seems good. Right, time to leave. Oh, can we see that there? Both of the first world was destroyed, it'll probably never operate again. Did it always say that? I'm sure we wanted it to operate again. I thought that was our whole plan. Anyway. Anyway, we're still okay. Uh, yeah. So we head back to our capital. We skip a day. Oh, we head back. We press rest. That's what we do. Yeah, that's how we skip a day. We head back. We sell our stuff. We rest. It's The optimization of loading screens is well ingrained now. So we head back here. We rest. Then we figure out where we're going next. Hmm. It really has given us a lot of time between acts, though. Usually it's given us a, li a Lindsay interlude between like, like um, you know for Patak she gave us like, we're going to Iravetti's tournament and all that sort of stuff. For this one, Let's nothing. Begin. It didn't say like, this is the start of chapter 7. Or at least I don't remember if it did say that. It was interesting. I'm wondering if that's what we're going to get now. Um, I wish to sell all the new keen weapons I got. So we'll offer him that. Then sell them the keen ones. Thank you. I appreciate the money. We're, we're just rolling in money. I say right now we sh we're almost at the point where I would just buy the 5,000 BP for Magier's one. In fact, I probably would. If Magier's one finishes, I might as well just buy 5,000 BP. And then I'll be able to get an extra plus 5 a turn. Hmm, is that ever going to pay for itself? Well, actually, in 100 weeks, it would pay for itself. Like, um, they pay for the minting of the coins, but we'll see. Right. Head forward. And quick save. And, well. Oh, I wanted to rest. I actually messed it up. I said the loading screen beat was well ingrained and I messed it up. I didn't, we didn't get a loading screen here anyway. I just, it, it more saved the walk. But whatever. Uh, nothing here? Hmm, maybe the rest didn't last long enough? Guess it didn't. Skip. Uh, so that's a success, right? We managed to persevere and enjoy his peace once again. Divine and Arcane went up. Nice. Well, what day is it? It is the 10th. Okay, so in the 10th, we have uh, pretty much everyone free. Okay, so... Um, what do we want to upgrade now? So Magister, he, he is free, isn't he? Storyteller is not often free, so we, I think it might be a time to upgrade that. And that also gets us a bonus to our military, thanks to something we did before. So yeah, let's do that. We have 14 new events. My god, what's happened? So four culture. Uh, five stability and one economy. Strengthen the storyteller's skills as Magister. Ooh, nice. Regions, claim the Tours of Levine. Ooh, okay. Twelve new events. Ah. What the... What the hell? These are all only doable by three people or something? No, okay. Wait, Chaos of the First World... Your companion. Yeah, I wish to speak to them. Thank you. <laughs> what happened in those seven days? And who is this? 
Oh, wait. No, I know who that is. Wait, who's that? I don't remember that one. I know who that one... Wait. I do know who that one is, I think. But I don't remember this one. Anyway. Compa your comrades, advisors, and advisors have gathered around the throne in breathless silence. Lindsay is the first to dare speak. I... I guess, I guess, it's about time my book reached its cul culmination, or its finale. Messengers arrived from, well, all over the kingdom, really. The bloom has started everywhere. Monsters have appeared in every forest, behind every corner, in every nook and cranny. What we went through before was like a bed of roses compared to this. If we don't do something, the kingdom will little, simply collapse. We learned a lot about Nyrissa while travelling through her dreams. I think she's almost done gathering grains of dust for her damn cup. The tax has fallen. Your kingdom is the last thing standing in her, uh, in the way of her apology. She's done waiting. We need to do something and fast. I think, I think we need to head out to our most heroic campaign yet. We talked it over, and it seems like our best chance to reach Nyrissa is through the thousand voices on the western border of Patax. It's completely overtaken by the bloom, and it seems to be the place where the first world is currently closest to ours. Lindsay again with her big bag of words, as helpful as ever. I know what to do. Go kick that green witch's ass. Bam! She's gone. We're heroes. It is a great time of woe, but of great hope as well. The path to the first world is open. This is your chance to reach my fallen sister and settle your dispute over the stolen lands once and for all. Trouble at the gates of peaceful villages. I hear the cries of children, prayers for help. As though there... They were right there. Everybody's so serious. Peh. Let me put it simply. We need to do some housekeeping. Cut some lawns, burn some fallen leaves, and get rid of some vermin. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, that's, um, Kanara, of course. That's who that is. The end time's near. My heart rejoices. So, it's all in your hands now. The threat may be great... But you've been fighting Nyrissa for a long time now, Sorosero, so you have the best chance of stopping her once and for all. Nyrissa, huh? I've been itching to tear the petals off that flower for quite a while. But we've already done Thousand Voices. Alright, anyway. What do you know of the what do we know of the Thousand Voices and what will await and what waits us there? I've helped Nyrissa move between planes and portals long enough to assume there must be a door in Thousand Voices that leads to her own domain in the first world. Many beasts serve Nyrissa, and you would be hard-pressed to find more dangerous ones. She has even created some semblance of the Tain, the eldest chained beasts. You must prepare to meet all these monsters along your way, even in the Thousand Voices or in the First World, should we make it there. One thing is clear, it won't be easy, not for us or for the Kingdom. I hope something's left to celebrate our heroic return to. Lindsay hides a sniffle by pretending to rub her nose. Will you travel with us? Evendra. The Nereid, the Nereid closes her eyes and sighs softly. Yes, of course. My duty now is to fight the evil that has enslaved Nyrissa. But I will not be travelling in a typical way with you. You are aware of the creature you are aware that the creatures of the first world return to life in their homeland. They die somewhere the bloom is especially strong, yes? I'll find such a place and well, end my life there, thus returning to the first world. I will meet you there. This way, I'll be able to bypass the portal guards, learn more of Nyrissa's plans, and make preparations. Death is not a pleasant prospect. It will take much of my strength, but it could give us a significant advantage. Take care, and, uh, well, wish, wish me luck. Nyrissa has tormented my kingdom and all the stolen lands for too long. It's our turn now. Nyrissa is an interesting foe. Powerful, beautiful, and unburdened by boring principles and morals. I can't wait to wade through her blooming meadows with a scythe. A ruler's duty is to end their kingdom's afflictions, and our duty is to follow you, Soroseros. Yes, that green creeps hunting us, hunted us for too long. Time to trade places. Seems like we have a promising expedition to the depths of the first world ahead of us. If in the course of our research we render a dozen monsters or one particularly annoying nymph to compost, all the better. The time has come to end the thousand-year reign of evil over the Stone Lands, and as much as I, as much as anyone wish to help, and hopefully help repay my debts in the process, we'll be fine. We'll return and throw a huge feast, and we'll celebrate for a whole month. 
and then another month, then another month, and then we'll do nothing but rest. I'll finish my book, and then I'll read it all across Galarian, and, and... Lindsay gestures vaguely. I don't know what then, but it'll be even better. Hey, Barkin, what's up? Unfazed by the awkward silence, he gives us an oil of unholiness. See ya. Hey, story person. I am most happy to see you, or the worthy one. A new gift and new stories await you. We got Avalanche. Thank you. See you later. It was time to meet the real mistress of the Stolen Lands. The one who'd been pulling the strings to create and destroy kingdoms for ages now. It is time. Against all odds, somewhere in a thousand voices, there's a portal we might use to get to the first world in Nyrissa. We have to find it. Earthbreaker. Talk to Verask. Well, I think Verask is maybe going to wait for a very long time for us to speak to him. So, first of all, what do we do against these? Die, I guess, would be my initial thought for what we do against these. They all take nine days to solve. I do, however, want to claim the Tours of Levines as part of our realm. I think that would be cool to claim it. I think we can maybe get away with it. So, I'm going to put... Storyteller there. So all the chaos the same. So the first world is Sol. So if I do Amiri there. That's a guaranteed triumph, by the way. Octavia there. Well, pretty much guaranteed. First world is Sol. If I just do it like this, actually, that'd be easier. Lindsay. Okay, I have nobody else free to do these. Okay, so I'll just start events, shall I? Uh, Tisana? Sure. So just check that I don't have any of these free. Nope. Okay. So some are failing automatically, but a lot of these are being done. Let me just get the dates on these. So that is... I'll just do these like that. So it's 12 days for Jubilost. What day are we starting on the 17th? So it's 12 days for... Excuse me? 17th of the 7th. Oh. He's already busy, apparently. According to my thing. How can he be busy? Maybe one of these just ended early. Or maybe I entered something ridiculous. Hmm. If it was 7 days, he would be finished. So I guess only one of those must have been 7 days. Anyway, 9 days for... I think these are all 9 days. So... It's uh, Lindsay's nine days. Jubilost is nine days, I think. Wait, is that right? Jubilost. Oh, Jubilost was 12 days. Never mind. That's fine. Um, Storyteller's nine days. Okay. Uh, who else have we got? We got Miri for nine days. And we got Octavia for nine days. And we got Tasana for nine days. If I pass all of these, I'll be very surprised. And we got Keston for nine days. And that's it, right? Yeah, that means we have Jathal, Lindsay, and... No. Lindsay's doing nine days. I think I put Storyteller instead of Lindsay. I don't think the Storyteller's doing any of them. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, Storyteller's doing nine days. Okay. So who did I put down? So, wait. We got Storyteller, Amiri, Octavia, Sasana. Yeah, that's right. Keston. Yeah, that's fine. And Jubilost is doing 12 days. Okay. I, for some reason, never... Oh, no, that's fine. Jubilost is doing 12 days. Oh, I was putting them down on the wrong 
Day. Ups. Nein, 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 nein. Okay, you can't see what I'm doing right now, but I am sorting out the spreadsheet, so it's all on the correct day. Not that I suspect it will matter too much, but um, there we go. So it looks something like that now. So 17th is when we're starting for all of these. Right. I want to claim the Tours of Levine or of Levinese. We can do it with Jathal. It takes seven days to do. I'm gonna quick save before I do this because this could extremely backfire. Let's do it. Do we get minus one for a bunch of stats? We get that seven times. Eleven. We got that eleven times. Okay. But we also took the tours into our land. Which is cool. I like that we've expanded, basically, is what I'm getting out of there. So regions, mountain resort. No special effects. <laughs> it's just a mountain resort. No special effects. And we can also scout the northeastern region if we had anything. And a visitor awaits in the castle. And a whole bunch of random things. Okay. Can we discuss events related to Bald Hilltop? Perfect. Let's discuss. This yacht? Nope, storyteller. Your Highness, Nyrissa's armies have been crushed, even though Jabberwock was slain. The victory is a major triumph for your subjects, and they have a special gift for you. It's a pity the portal to the First World was destroyed. I wish we could go there right now and look that witch in my eye myself. I bet she was so terrified of us that she destroyed the portal herself. Or perhaps the death of the Jabberwock caused the portal's destruction. It's unlikely we'll ever find out. Christian's voice fills with resolution. It's alright. We'll find another path to Nyrissa's lair. She won't be able to avoid retribution forever. Um, Tristian, you helped Nyrissa open portals to Galarian. Can you open a portal to the First World? Portals to the First World are complicated and unpredictable. I managed to open two with some degree of success the, for the Everblooming Flower and at Bald Hilltop. However, those two were the only two cases of success amongst dozens of failures. Besides, the task would require much more time than we have. I prepared both of these portals a long time ago and waited for the right time to use them. Christian sighs. Also, I don't feel comfortable doing it. Portals to the First World are dangerous and have caused enough harm to give me pause before attempting another dangerous move. I'm sure there must be another way to the First World. Hmm. Um... Let's see what we got here. Hmm. Uh, I think that we're going to go for neutral. Nyrissa failed to push her advantage and made a strategic mistake. You shouldn't attack if you're unsure of victory. I agree. Couldn't have said it better myself. Let's show that villain that she picked a fight she couldn't win. Right. See you later. Okay. So that one's done. So we get, we get the thing saying we met with them, right? Yep. Uh, might as well clear these out. Any of these that we can do? Just out of curiosity. Christine can do Mysterious Weed. Okay, we've seen that one before. Alright. Uh, mysterious Weed, Tristian. Cool. 20 days to solve, starting on the 24th. Uh, 24th. Twenty days to solve for Tristian. Cool. Everyone else is finishing in two days. That's all right. Let's head out here, and let's go find the portal to the first world. Um. Although I think we might start that next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye.